I'm Ryan, and welcome back to another video. Now, generally, I do painting and drawing tutorials, however, today, in honor of Halloween, I thought I would do a pumpkin carving tutorial. Now, I haven't carved a pumpkin in a number of years, so I thought I would have some fun with it. I used a bunch of screwdrivers, and today's tutorial is how to carve a pumpkin with details and layers using screwdrivers. Why screwdrivers? Because everyone has them, you don't have to go out and buy them, and you can do a lot with them if you get creative. So guys, if you like this video, please subscribe. I have new videos every week, and I hope you enjoy. The first piece of advice I'd like to offer you is to use a screwdriver set. Now, when I initially was looking online for pumpkin carving tutorials, I found that a lot of them required pumpkin carving kits, or really interesting things that you'd have to go out and buy. And I thought, well, what can you find around the house that works just as well? And the answer was screwdrivers, simply because they are hard, they are sharp, and they come in multiple packets that allow you to work with really small detailed ones or really large ones. So between a full set of screwdrivers, which most everyone has, you have a lot of opportunity to do a wide variety of different uh, strokes and indentations. So when you're carving a pumpkin, you're either going to do one of two things. You're going to make a sharp, small line, or you're going to want to take a large piece of mass of the pumpkin out. Let's focus initially on the small line. Use the side of the screwdriver initially to puncture the pumpkin and drag it in the direction of the line that you wish to create. Now after this is done, it's going to be fairly small and you're not really going to be able to see the light shining through. So we're going to re-put in the screwdriver, but we're going to put it at like a 45 degree angle going inwards to the hole that you've already made. So we're going to drag that out and then we're going to do it again on the other side. Now what we're doing here, we're creating a trench, or rather a triangle indent, into the pumpkin. And you can do this in um, different angles, so you can widen it or you can keep it really narrow, but it's just a really clean way of ensuring that the lines are smooth and are as deep and as wide as you'd like. Now, it's going to be a completely different technique when you want to take out a large mass of the pumpkin. In this situation, what we're going to do, we're going to plot our outline by jabbing in a small screwdriver around the edge of the part that we'd like to take out. From there, we're going to try and dig it out. So what we're doing, we are holding the pumpkin and the screwdriver, and we're actually pushing the screwdriver underneath just the skin of the pumpkin. We're not going to go straight in, we're trying to go straight on with the skin and just remove that very small top layer. A way of being really exact with this is actually pushing with your thumb and not pushing with your arm. So I'm holding the screwdriver with one hand with two fingers and then I'm pushing it with my other hand's thumb. This ensures that I have a better control of my power and I don't slip and accidentally ruin more of the pumpkin than I wish. It's a way of ensuring that you are doing it safely and you can do it in a more controlled manner. So again, we're just trying to dig right under the skin of it and peel it off very slightly. You can use a larger or smaller screwdriver for this. I use the small one simply because I like to keep it fairly exact but that's the general idea. After that, we're going to take a chisel-like object and we're going to simply scrape off the lines that were created when we were peeling off the skin because there will be slight lines and this is a way of just flattening it and smoothing it out. Now, this can be difficult when you don't have a light in it. So what I'd advise is taking your phone or a flashlight turning it on and then placing it in the pumpkin. That way you get a general idea of what it'll look like when the candle's in it. Because we're not carving fully through, this will just give us a better idea of how much light we're allowing to be shone through. Sh shined? Shined through. Is that, is that grammatically correct? I don't think it is. I should refilm this. No. This is real. Okay. Moving on. Making holes is quite easy. We are simply going to approach this as we would if we were carving a pumpkin with a knife. We are going fully through 
except when we take the screwdriver out, we are going to turn it so it's kind of like a drill and we're going to bring with that, when we bring it up, we're going to bring all the excess pumpkin that we carved out. So that way it's not a messy hole, but it's fairly clean. So as you lift the screwdriver, make sure you turn it as well so the excess pumpkin comes up and out of the hole. Now the wonderful thing about not fully carving through the pumpkin is that if you mess up, you can just take a chisel-like object or a screwdriver with a really flat, uh, long head, and you can just scrape off a layer. And what this is going to do, it's going to take out all of the detail, everything that you messed up. What it is going to mean is that the next layer is going to be a little bit brighter. However, you didn't completely mess up your pumpkin, you can retry and it can still look really good. So by doing it this way, you kind of have a reset button, which is always great. I hope that helped, and if you have any questions at all, I highly advise you to leave a comment in the comment box, or if you need a more urgent reply, you can like my Facebook page in the description and message me there, because I'm on there much more frequently than I'm on YouTube. So if you would like uh, immediate attention or a critique of what you're doing, please feel free to send me a message, I'd be more than happy to help. And by the way, I do these painting tutorials weekly. I will have a new video for you guys next week, so please join this uh, little art community. Thank you guys for watching, and take care.